everybody. I am here to give you guys another update. I realized I am wearing the same shirt I've worn in another video, but that's okay. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite shirts, so it kind of gets worn a lot. Um, especially because today I'm teaching a childbirth class, so that's why I'm in like this fancy schmancy shirt of mine that I wear with like a cute skirt thing, and it's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, I know that's like completely off topic, but um, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys another quick update. I had such a weird cycle. So I was like super convinced the cycle that I was pregnant. I, I just, I was really convinced, sorry, I'm like getting emotional because it's just been, it's been a heck of a ride. Um, I was telling my husband, I looked at the calendar and I was like, we only have two more cycles before it's officially been a year since we started trying. And, uh, and nothing's happened. So, and I just feel like, and I just feel like we've done everything we can do on our own. Um, and I mean, he's been taking his medication and like, I really thought this cycle that the medication would have kicked in because it's officially been three months. Um, and so I really thought that this was going to be it, and this was going to be the cure, and that was going to be that. Um, and so I'm just feeling pretty disappointed. Um, so I feel like if it doesn't happen next cycle, then, you know, we're going to have to start exploring other options. But um, we've basically said we're going to keep trying, until a year and then from there we'll kind of start exploring options um, like testing my hormone levels and making sure my hormones are okay because I've definitely had um, you know symptoms of low progesterone or estrogen dominance things like that so we just want to make sure like I'm okay too um, so I guess we'll go from there you know hormone testing and whatever else we have to do but once it's been a year then insurance will cover us officially being tested and everything. So anyways, uh, to give you an update about this cycle, um, I took a lot of pregnancy tests because I was just so convinced that, I was so convinced that this was going to be it, that he was going to, that the medication would have kicked in and that was going to be enough to like get those swimmers where they have to go. And so I was really convinced and so it was really hard. Um, I kind of was like having some pregnancy symptoms um, and there was part of me that was being logical and being like it's n it's it's not happening and then there was another part of me that was just like this could be it this could be it and so I just I kept taking pregnancy tests um, which was really disappointing because every single time they were negative negative. and then the other thing I did the cycle is I started using progesterone cream over-the-counter progesterone cream like I did a ton of research about it and I found one that I'm feel comfortable with um, but I think I used it too late in my cycle because it it made my luteal phase longer, which I know can be like a good thing, but it made my luteal phase longer, and um, which wasn't great because I kept thinking like, okay, my period's officially two days late now. Like, shouldn't I, like if I have, if I'm pregnant, shouldn't I get a positive pregnancy test? Like it was really driving me crazy. So, um, so I didn't actually get my period until like 17 days past ovulation which was crazy. And it wasn't just like I guessed when I ovulated. I took an OPK. Like I should have been, like my luteal phase is usually pretty regular and my cycles are usually pretty regular. So this is yet another instance of an artificial hormone like um, interfering with my natural cycle. So, which again, I know is like not good. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, so I did take start taking the progesterone, but I think I took it too late in my cycle. I didn't realize you're supposed to stop using it two days before your period if you're not pregnant. So I didn't do that, and then I realized that, and I was like, oh, I have to stop using it. Um, and I spotted for a long time, and then I finally got my period. Um, and so I will say that I feel like this period is a lot easier. So that's great. Um, and I've been using flaxseed oil a lot during my period because... Um, apparently it helps like block some estrogen or something like that and so I've been using that during my period um, I use a leave like naproxen during my period because it's 12 hours and that's been working really well for me so I've been having a relatively easy period which has been nice um, just frustrating so I'm hoping that this is the last one for a while but 
I feel like I'm starting to get to that point where I'm starting to feel a little bit hopeless. So, I'm not like, not like hopeless in the way that I've like completely lost faith. Just feeling a little bit like, I don't know, like it's never going to happen. That's how I feel. I feel like I am, I just, I feel like I'm never going to be that person with a bump. So that's been hard. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. So <sighs> praying for all you guys and um, keep us in your prayers. And uh, let me know if you guys have any advice or, or anything like that. It looks like, um, you know, sooner than later we'll be going down the official medical fertility road of IUIs and everything. So if you guys have any experiences or anything like that, please let me know. It's kind of daunting to think about all this because, like I said, it just... I feel like I am never going to be pregnant. So that's been hard. Um, but thank you guys for everything. And um, I will definitely try to keep my spirits up and just keep going. Just keep going. That's all you can do. Is just keep going and keep praying. And, uh, and that's it for now, guys. <laughs> and if you like, subscribe. Bye.